five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff of Discovery and the Ulysses spacecraft bound for the polar regions of the sun. Discovery's velocity now 2,300 feet per second. Ulysses is a mission that is very unique in that it's exploring the sun's atmosphere at all latitudes. Yes, I've been associated with the mission ever since it began. That was 1977. And curiously enough, something that I've always been proud of, there was a period of about two weeks where I was at JPL. I was the one man. I was a one man mission. I was the project scientist, and then other people began to join me. So I was the first person to be assigned to the mission from, by NASA and by JPL, and I've been with it this whole time. And uh, so it's been 30 years, a big part of my career. I've been doing other things as well, but this has been uh, an exceptional opportunity. And uh, my plan is to continue on until the end of the mission and I expect to be the last person to be here, and I'm going to turn off the lights. <laughs> okay. The end of the Ulysses mission will be very sad for a lot of the operations team, and I'm sure for a lot of the scientific com community. But given, given that uh, the scientific data that has been returned from Ulysses over the course of the mission uh, is going to be used for decades to come. Um, it is also um, a, a, a moment of great pride for, for all of the team.
T minus 10, 9. We have a go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff of Discovery and the Ulysses spacecraft bound for the polar regions of the sun. Roll pump ignition. Roger roll, Discovery. This is Mission Control. The roll maneuver puts Discovery into the correct launch plane. Auxiliary power units, all three looking good. Discovery's velocity now 2,300 feet per second. separation of the uh, solid rocket boosters. Again, this view recorded on the last bulkhead. The object in question, I think, is going to come in view, uh, and it appears to us that it's already there. It was just uh, hidden by the uh, IUS. As uh, was indicated to us, there was no rates on it. It's just sort of floating behind the IUS. Looks like it was already there before the deployment. And I'll try to call you out when I see it, if I can make it out on this monitor. Yeah, we see it, Dick. 